Hang on, guys. Uh, check this out. Uh, Beretta 92FS. A deactivated pistol. Hey, right. Um, it says there 92FS, 9mm, uh, 3 dot, which is the sight configuration. Um, Pistola. Italian it is, of course. Made in Italy. Fabrica de Army P. Beretta SPA in uh, Gardoni, which I believe is the city that Beretta are based in. Uh, 92FS. Um, yep, that's basically the uh, the box that it came in. Uh, instruction manual, rather amusing. <laughs> there are some uh, rather amusing and ridiculously obvious things like, you know, don't climb a tree <laughs> with the rifle or weapon. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, don't point it at someone and shoot them, even though that's precisely what this weapon is designed to do, <laughs> designed for. Don't go target shooting with someone at the backdrop. <laughs> Hilarious that uh, someone that would actually be able to buy this needs that information. Hem horrendous. Anyway, uh, but this is of course the deactivated version. Here we go. The proper case with the, the uh, Beretta logo on there. Uh, and there she is. I've got some blanks there just because, just because I, I can buy them. They don't really work in this gun, of course. Um, but uh, it's a good example of showing the difference between blanks and what a live round appears to look like, because I've got some inert rounds as well, as you can see. So um, if anyone's re remembered Die Hard 2, um, where John McClane gets knocked off the, uh, the snowmobile, and uh, it's where he discovers that he's got blanks, and he takes the magazine out and just looks at the end of the magazine, and it doesn't really show on the film what he's looking at. It's basically the difference between that and that basically. Um, inert rounds on the left so that's exactly what a live round would look like uh, and the blank of course um, with no projectile. Um, there's a, a spent cartridge so it's a, there's no projectile in it anymore. So that, that's basically uh, uh, it bugged me for a while when I was a little kid actually um, you know, what, what was he looking at at the end of the magazine that told him that whether or not there were blanks or live rounds? And that's basically the difference, the, the visual difference between a blank and a live round. Uh, the weight as well, because the, the lead projectiles are not present. Much heavier. Anyway, let's get to the pistol and stop waffling. <coughs> Beretta 92 FS. Um, so it's not an M9. It's an Italian produced, not an American produced. So it's the proper 92FS. I think some, I believe the M9 doesn't have the safety uh, that was issued to the American Police Force, but uh, I'm not sure about that at all. Um, somebody let me know if I'm right on, or wrong uh, about that, please. <laughs> but anyway, that's the safety. Um, it's also a hammer drop, so when the hammer is cocked, uh, it will drop the hammer. Uh, safety renders the double action mode inoperable. Uh, when it's uh, on fire, it will fire double action, uh, which is uh, interesting. Um, it's got the uh, half cock and full cock function, of course, um, which I understand is designed so that uh, if you were to slip whilst cocking, it won't drop all the way back down, and, uh, which is fair enough. But it also gives that two-click nice noise that we all are familiar with. <laughs> Uh, uh, this will be the slide release, so when the slide's back, you can drop the, uh, the slide with this switch here. This switch here is the takedown switch um, for stripping it, which I'll do in a moment. This switch here is of course the magazine release, which is reversible. You can take that out, swap the spring over, and have it left and right for ambidextrous, which of course the safety is dextrous as well. It won't cock either while the safety's on. So uh, there's a little a little block firing pin block here that moves up when the trigger's depressed. So when that block's in position, the second firing pin there's actually two firing pins in here. The second firing pin won't be a, a, a allowed to, to move when that blocks down. Only when the trigger is pressed and you see the block lifting up um, will the uh, 
the firing pins be uh, allowed to not to touch each other basically. Uh, you can see the end of the firing pin there and uh, when the safety is engaged it actually tilts the firing pin out of the way. As you can see there, so it kind of tilts it preventing it from being struck at all. Quite a safe design of weapon, lovely. Um, it feels great in hand. I've got a Glock uh, 17 copy that fires 8mm blanks and it feels disgusting when you're holding it in your hand, quite frankly. I understand why a lot of people hate Glocks, um, but this is just so nice to hold. In. I mean, I've got quite small hands as well. Um, I'm only five and a half foot tall, relatively small hands, and uh, there's no problem with uh, you know, any element of the, the ergonomics whatsoever. Uh, let's take it down anyway. So press this switch in, which will allow this to move round, which will allow the top slide to simply disengage and come off. Um, that, put, that basically is uh, the frame. So there's the slide with the uh, recoil spring or the slide spring, some people may call. Uh, the barrel uh, and the uh, the breech is in there, which is of course ground away, and the firing pin is ground away because it's deactivated. So um, it would actually be easier to make a gun from scratch than it would be to repair what they've done there. Uh, but fair enough. Um, so those are the main parts, the slide, the barrel, the spring uh, and the frame, um, goes back together relatively simple. Uh, what we've got here is a, a little rocking mechanism um, and there is a gap uh, at the bottom of the barrel. Uh, this is the delayed mechanism for blowback, it's a delayed blowback operated. Um, what that means basically is uh, Let's just take it around. Right, so basically, uh, if if, a, if this round was was able to, to fit into that breech, and if it wasn't welded up like it is, it would situate about there, and only once the projectile has travelled an inch or so are the gases allowed to depress this lever uh, and start the, the, the motion of the recoiled reloading. Um, so that is the gas-delayed blowback system. Um, as opposed to a blowback system which is simply as soon as the the, the bullet is uh, sent on its way um, the breech starts moving back um, in recoil to the equal and opposite reaction kind of nonsense you know. Right let's try and put it back together again if I can remember how. <laughs> so a barrel goes in, spring, sit in situ like so, and you slide on the top Block that uh, catch back there. I'll just show what I did there. And now it'll stay, to, it'll stay together. Yeah. Let's see, of course, uh, um, I won't release the slide because uh, it'll it'll stuff that cartridge into the barrel that's welded up, and it'll ruin it. So that's, uh, that's basically the uh, Beretta 92 FS. Uh, it's worth mentioning that once it's in its uh, single action mode, the amount of pressure that's required to release the sear is uh, amusingly minimal. <laughs> it's very, I can understand why these are so accurate. Um, it's actually lighter than the uh, Glock um, 8mm blank firer, um, even when it's got uh, the full magazine of inner rounds in. Um, it's much more nicely balanced as well when the full magazine's in. So, there you go, the Beretta 92FS. Right, uh, I should probably point out that uh, for anyone out there that actually owns firearms, they shouldn't really be watching this video because it's kind of very basic information designed for people that's only experienced um, in firearms through cinema, <laughs> basically. Uh, the kind of information that I wanted to know when I was an uh, early teenager and stuff, you know. Um, anyway, uh, the operation of a magazine, um, basically it's got these lips at the top of a magazine that's slightly narrower than the diameter of the cartridge, so it doesn't, they all don't fly out even though they're under spring pressure. Um, they only come out when it's pushed forwards, 
So I'll just do that again. So you can see how uh, how the design and basically you reverse that option, uh, reverse that motion to uh, to load by pushing down, and pushing the cartridges in and back. Basically, that's uh, that's how the uh, standard magazine works. Pretty much the same for most magazines. So the other things it came with is um, the receipt that you don't particularly want to know about um, the warranty. So I've still got the warranty, the uh, cleaning kit, uh, and the certificate of deactivation of course. I'm not going to show you a close up of that, just trust me it's deactivated if you don't call the police and send them round and then uh, you can explain to them uh, why you called the police on someone that's actually got a normal deact. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. My Beretta 92FS.